the book of Revelation uh, is an enigma. It has been made into uh, a joke and a laughing stock, uh, primarily by Christian nationalism uh, and right, you know, very conservative Christian uh, interpretations of Revelation as being about predicting the end of the world, predicting the rapture, um, you know, the mark of the beast as like, you know, uh, I got a birthmark on my forehead sort of thing. And like, oh, I could be the antichrist, that sort of stuff. Revelation doesn't have anything to do with predicting the end of the world. It's like a, it's like a handbook for, uh, you know, a minority faith community and how to resist empire. Um, and as soon as we see it that way, it totally shifts the usefulness of this book because now it actually is instructive about what does it mean to stand in opposition of the religion of empire. My name is Wes Daniels, and I am the director of the Friends Center at Guilford College. I use he, him, his pronouns. I live in Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh, my family and I attend First Friends Meeting in Greensboro. The reality is, is that actually Revelation was written by a, a John who was a pastor living, who was a Jewish person as far as I know, uh, living under the Roman Empire and was imprisoned on the island of Patmos, which was kind of like an Alcatraz of the day. Um, and he's writing to, his, to these seven churches, which are made up of Christians who are trying to follow the way of Jesus and resisting empire. And these are individuals who are not wealthy, educated politicians. These are the minority uh, folks who are living under the Roman imperial regime. Revelation is a letter to those people to say, here is how you can resist empire. Here is how you can continue on in, in the midst of something that looks like all hope is lost. Revelation kind of works as a like, here's what the empire does. Here's what God calls us to do. And it kind of goes back and forth like this. Um, and it so some of the ways John sort of invites these communities into resistance is through nonviolence, what early Quakers called the War of the Lamb. So a nonviolent resistance to empire. It talks about uh, liturgies. So it, it shows that um, empire has its own liturgy. And that liturgy is meant to shape and form people in a particular way, in a partic particular sort of moral framework. One, one last one uh, is um, this idea of the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast is actually about what it, it is. It, it is a critique of a economics of empire that is a, an entire system that creates oppression. The mark of the beast, and the mark here uh, in the Greek is like the, the imprint on a coin. So the, the coinage of the beast empire creates both poor and rich, and it subsumes all. And, and, and later in Revelation, it talks about um, that the empire trades in human bodies. It, the empire is, is a system, economic system that enslaves individuals. In Revelation 18, in like 90 common era, there's a critique in Christian texts against human slavery as being a part of the economics of the beast. And so this is, this is what we lose when we make Revelation into a big joke is a 2000 year old critique about stuff we're still dealing with. Uh, so you can see how like, there's a lot in there to unpack and we're not sort of left 
to our own uh, devices when it comes up with trying to decide how do we how do we resist empire? How do we do this? There have been communities standing in resistance to this for thousands of years. Let's draw on that wisdom um, and those tools where where it helps, where we can, um, and uh, join that community of resistance over time. Thanks so much for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every other Thursday. We would like to thank Woodbrook for supporting this video. Woodbrook is a Quaker learning and research charity. They offer online learning and worship rooted in the Quaker tradition and open to all. Their Woodbrook Where You Are workshops offer a chance to bring learning to your Quaker community. Deepen your understanding and connection by exploring one of the many topics prepared and facilitated by experienced tutors. Woodbrook's wide range of courses are available to friends around the world. Visit www.woodbrook.org.uk to explore what Woodbrook can offer you. Thanks so much for watching and have a happy Thursday.